I'm convinced that we're going to look back in history. This time is by far the worst drug crisis we've ever experienced in this country. It's scary stuff, especially when like you hear an ambulance going and you're like, holy crap, is that, gonna, is that one of my friends again? Is that my girlfriend? Like within the last two weeks, I've narrowed down seven people. People are coming to drugs because they're available, they're cheap, and they've got friends or social connections going, hey, let's just try it. Let's see how it goes. Everybody tells you all the things that are scary and bad about drugs, but nobody tells you how much fun they actually are. Everybody's uh, running ragged nowadays, and it's it's taxing on, on, the, on the body physically. Uh, it's, it's mentally draining, and now I'm going to get a call. There are different types of interventions that need to happen. Um, some don't make it. If you were in a fentanyl lab, get the hell out. Uh, because uh, if you're not dead, you soon will be. We're using astronomical amounts of Narcan to try and revive these people. Five times the amount that we were using before to uh, uh, resuscitate and reverse these uh, fentanyl overdoses. On August 2nd, uh, Jack and his friend stopped on Commercial Drive to buy a pill. They split it in half. One half went to my son, and one half went to his friend. Half of the tablet will result in a death of somebody, and their friend that took the other half of the tablet may survive. And uh, Jack died on the park bench at Shelley Park in Vancouver. If I were able to meet the person and have a talk with the person that sold the pill to my son, I would show him my family at times where we're shattered. This is impacting people from all different walks of life across our city and across our province. We need to work together on this. A drug-free life, improved health, positive, engaged citizenship. Those are the goals that we have for people.